Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Sunday routine, but before we get into that, I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out there that this is not my every Sunday routine. This is more of like a sometimes and a like what I would like to do. Um, but realistically, you know, it's not always like this and that's okay. I don't want to put out something that's unrealistic um, out there because my life is very far from that. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys like the video and let's get into it. After I finished doing the laundry and cleaning up the place for a week, I hop in the shower. Sunday is my hair washing day, so I take a bit longer to clean up the hair that I have. And while I'm in the shower, I also like to cleanse my face. It's kind of killing two birds with one stone. After I'm out of the shower, I like to start my skincare. First, I put on a face mask. I use the Shea Butter Clarifying Mud Mask. And I only leave it on for half of the required time because my skin is really sensitive and gets irritated really easily. <laughs> After washing it off my face and it's nice and clean, I like to go in with a lactic acid. This one is by the brand The Ordinary. And I only put it on my nose and T zone area to try and clean out any blackheads. Then to finish it off, I go in with a moisturizer and that is pretty much it for my skin. It's really nice, easy, and simple. Now onto my hair. I brush it out to detangle any knots. After this, I normally like to go in with coconut oil, but this time I decided to go in with an argan oil. I spread it out all through my hair so that it's really smooth. And I like using this one because it makes my hair feel really soft and it smells like oranges. <laughs> Once I finish up in the bathroom, it's around 8.30 and that is the time that we feed the kitties. So to start this off, I boil some hot water for them and measure out their food. Once they are fed, I go back into the kitchen and put their food away and I will either use the leftover hot water or specifically heat up the hot water to a certain type of tea. So here I chose to make some oolong tea, it's been my go-to lately and it's so so good. a bit of turbinado sugar and I like to finish it off with some almond. Once I am ready to settle on the couch, I like to go and light the candle and this is kind of like setting the mood for me. <laughs> So the first thing that I like to do is I like to call my iPad on my planner and I like to write down what I have going on in the upcoming week. I do both a week overview and a day-to-day -day overview, that way every day 
I can just check it in the morning and know what I have going on for that day. After I'm done with that, I like to disconnect with devices and settle into some light reading. Right now, I am reading Dare to Lead by Brene Brown and I am loving it so far. If you have not heard of Brene Brown or read any of her books, I highly, highly recommend. You will always learn something and it's so great. <laughs> Definitely right one. After I'm done with some reading, the very last thing that I like to do is take five minutes to journal anything that's been on my mind at that time to release any feelings or thoughts. Now it is time to do the very, very last thing which is to brush my teeth and also floss. <laughs> After I'm done with that, it is time for my favorite part, which is to go to sleep. <laughs> that is it for this video. Thank you for being here with me, and until the next video, bye guys.